Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I already cleansed with my Kamaya Healing Spray, so I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling my cards. So I am filming about five videos today since while these videos are going up, I'm going to already be in Chicago. So super, super excited about that. Um, I leave my flight tomorrow from SFO to um, the Chicago O'Hare Airport is at 11.30. So super excited about that and just, you know, be in Chicago for the week. So yeah, um, let me see. Anything else I need to update you on? Uh, no, not really. Um, but yeah, um, I have a new deck that I'm going to be using today um, in some of my videos. Maybe not this video in particular, but um, um, you'll see that new deck in the next five videos or so that go up. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for booking all of your personal readings with me, as well as all your tips. Um, I did do um, some tarot readings over the weekend and they were just so much fun and it was just great to have that little extra bit of pocket change for uh, my trip. So definitely gonna really be getting good use out of that um, this week when these videos are up. But yeah, I think we're going shuffling. Let's go ahead and just tap in. Let's see what's going on with the collective today. three cards yeah let's just keep with this for now so first card out was the high priestess so this could be you or this could be someone that i'm channeling um you're really tapping into your intuition right now um trying to learn and you know just become one with yourself be very balanced and really um feel in tuned with your body and you know what choices you're making next we have the knight of swords in reverse so you may be feeling you're not getting the truth and clarity that you need from someone, or you might be feeling that someone is potentially running away from you, telling lies, however it resonates. And um, all of these feelings, and there we go, it's becoming more clear. So your intuition is telling you that someone is lying to you and running away because of their feelings. And that feeling overall is causing some heartbreak for you. Um, so, you know, you don't see anything good coming from the situation. You feel like this person is only just going to keep running further and further away from you. So with the three of pentacles here, um, I have a feeling you've been um, asking for help, relying on other people, um, trying to have other people, you know, side with you on your situation, give you some good advice. But um, I think the more you're leaning on other people, the more you're realizing that their suggestions and the help that they've given you actually, you know, isn't really helping your particular situation. Um, with the Knight of Wands here, you're really worried that this person who you truly love and feel very passionate towards um, is running away from you. Um, and that's really keeping you in this Nine of Wands energy, um, really feeling like you're in a spiritual jail, you know, unable to tap into your intuition and unable to know if you are making the right decisions for yourself um, within the situation. Um, because I think you, you know, you really love this person. You want to keep them close to you, but you know, it feels like they keep lying to you. They're not telling you the full truth and they're slowly but surely running further and further away from you. With the seven of pentacles um after that it's really about you know you invested so much um in this relationship with this person only to have them run away so you know you're feeling really unfulfilled now um you're sad that what you've invested in in this situation or this person is not um as long lasting not as abundantly fruitful as you expected it to be <sighs> yep at the bottom of the deck, we have the 10 of cups in reverse. So sadly, if this is what your intuition has been telling you that this relationship is coming to an end, there's your confirmation. This relationship is not everlasting. It's not, um, it is coming to an end. And you know, at one point you may have saw a bright future with this person, um, having a family life, having children with them, but 
that is just not in the cards for you, um, nor is it for this other person. That is why this person is slowly but surely distancing themselves from you, um, just so that when this breakup does come, if it hasn't already happened, um, you're fully aware that you know something obviously in your dynamic is no longer working. Under that, we have strength. So you, I think, you know, if you are very intuitive, you have been feeling this way that this person is going to end the relationship. So you've been trying to be strong, trying to do your best to just focus on yourself and feel confident um, in knowing that when this relationship does end, you will be able to pick yourself up. With the Emperor in reverse, this other person, you know, they're not standing in their power. They weren't able to give you the truth and clarity that you deserved on this situation. They were just being very selfish. So even if they broke up with you just by ghosting you, there's your further confirmation. This person was never meant to be for you and they're not even man enough to, you know, face what they've done and have the courage to actually go to you face to face because you didn't deserve this to happen to you. Um, under that, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Again, there's no victory here. Um, there's, this relationship is just going to continue to crumble down with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. There was no equal give and take. You were definitely more invested in this relationship than this other person is. Um, with the Six of Swords in reverse, this other person has definitely already checked out of your relationship. So even if they haven't broken up with you or you know truly ended things, um, you know, and um, under that we have everything is fine. If you've been pretending that everything is fine, but you do feel like the relationship really is dead in the water and over, um, it is. With the world in reverse, I have a feeling that this is something that this person that I'm channeling does a lot. Um, it's a toxic cycle that they keep repeating. Um, you know, they're just in their emperor in reverse energy. They're very selfish. They're using people, not truly investing in relationships. Um, you know, they're, they're getting what they want out of relationship and then just like walking away. So yeah, if this is what you've been feeling, there's your confirmation, um, with the star in reverse under that, um, you're going to be fine. Take the time that you need to heal yourself and love back on yourself. Um, that's all you can really do in this situation. Um, this person that I'm channeling, you know, it's part of your journey for them to hurt you so that you can heal become a better version of yourself and learn from this emperor in reverse you know what you want and don't want out of a relationship um, but under that we have the lovers so through getting your heart broken by this person it's going to welcome in someone um, who is even better for you and that is it's going to be a very long lasting relationship um, as long as you learn the lesson that this Emperor in Reverse puts you through, um, that new love will be able to show up and come in for you. So I absolutely love that. So with all these like secrets and truths and stuff, I really want to tap in to my tea deck. So that's my loose leaf tea. This is my secrets deck. Um, again, all of my Oracle decks are available for purchase and that information is in the down box below for you. Um, you can just purchase it from the shop tab on my website, uh, which will take you to my shop in my make playing cards. So Spirit, what secrets is this person that I'm channeling? Um, what secrets are they keeping from this person? Why are they running away? Uh, what is this Nine of Swords energy? Please let us know. Okay, so we have three out. First off, we have, I'm ashamed of my past. So this person, they're keeping some secrets from you. I think they may have hurt you and you just didn't know about it. Next is, you're too smart. I feel like I can't keep up sometimes. So I feel like you're really good at calling this person out on their bullshit and they're not used to that. And because of that quality that you have, it really scares this person and it forced them to run away. Um, next is, I know you cheated on me. So you may have confronted this person about cheating or you have an inkling that this person is cheating on you. Um, and if that's so, there's your confirmation this person was cheating or has been cheating. Um, next we have, your success intimidates me. Again, this person, they don't deserve you. They feel like you are too good for them anyways. Um, you may be very successful in your career um, or you may be a little bit older, however it resonates for you. The fact that you're successful and makes them jealous. Um, so that's, you know, 
an actual good emperor energy, a really good DM is not intimidated by the success of their, in, of their <sighs> significant other. Under that, we have narcissistic mother. So um, this person may have a narcissistic mother, someone that they're dealing with who actually doesn't like you. Um, so their mother is controlling them um, in a sense that, you know, this mother figure talked them out of wanting to commit with you and be with you any longer. Any other secret spirit? There's the confirmation, toxic family environment. Again, this person has a narcissistic mother, just a toxic, like karmic family members that are really, um, you know, messing with this connection. And, you know, you don't wanna deal with that. People who have kar karmic family members and aren't able to gain the strength to stand up to their family members, that's not your problem. Um, you deserve someone who's whole and has already healed that type of trauma so that they can give you the love that you deserve. And lastly, we have, I've stolen money from you. Um, so yeah, this I don't think is for everyone. Um, but yeah, if you've, you know, suddenly had a missing debit card, missing credit card, um, you know, this person um, may actually be a karmic partner for you and they've actually stolen money for you. So again, that's not for everyone. If that doesn't resonate for you in your situation, go ahead and release it. Yikes. So I think we're good um, on all that. I think I just wanna pull one spiritual guidance message from my Work Your Light Oracle deck. So we're just gonna get hopefully one card from here. So Spirit, what should my collective do um, to heal from this situation so that they can move forward and um, you know live along their soul's true path and just be happier and heal from this situation? What should they do? So first off we have, oh okay, yeah, it's just one. So we have dance with life, do something to change your energy. So this is about, you know, going with the flow in life, keeping a positive mindset, doing what you love and just moving along um, through your soul's path again. This situation, even though it may hurt, your heart may be completely broken right now, know that this was meant to happen and if you keep pushing forward with a positive mindset and you know dance along with life um knowing that these hurdles are going to be coming um as needed for you to become a better person um just accept that for what it is and continue forward on your journey so that is it for today's reading i hope you guys enjoyed it if anything resonated please do thumbs up the video that is the best way to energetically donate to our channel as well as get our videos out to more and more viewers if anything resonated and you are brand new i do hope you decide to subscribe today and if you are a subscriber don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified i want to upload a new video so that is it thank you guys as always so so much for watching and i'll see you in a later one Bye, guys.